Hi, I'm Randy Hollenbeck, and this is the Music Roundtable. Today on the show, we have blues guitarist, Bay Allen. Hey, Randy, how you doing? I know trouble when I see it. Disaster really takes me by surprise. I know trouble when I see it Each time I look into your eyes I know trouble when I see it And babe, I see through your disguise I just wanted to start out by getting into some of your history. What got you into playing guitar and what age did you start? Um, yeah, I started, I started playing music when I was young i have an old picture from me and my older brothers are in it and they're they're both playing violin and i'm not playing anything because i was too young to take a lesson uh, i started piano around seven guitar i started picking up around 10 or 11 um and so what what started me wanting to play was my brother had formed a garage band and so i was like that's so cool. So I want to be in the band. So I picked up the guitar and they're like, we're never going to let you in the band. It doesn't matter. And then two weeks later, I'd already written a couple songs and they're like, dude, join the band, you know? Um, and so I kind of kept going from there. Um, and I, I just kept playing and playing. Um, my, my one band I was in before I was even in high school, we won the high school talent show, uh, <laughs> down in Virginia beach. Um, like for well, Pharrell Williams was one of the judges. <laughs> this was, he went to the same high school I did. He was a few years before me. Um, but that, that was kind of cool. I just uh, stuck with it ever since my brother will tell stories of me playing about six to eight hours a day, putting tape on bloody fingers and stuff that I don't even remember anymore. Um, but I, I did play six to eight hours a day really. So what got you into the blues? The blues. Um, I got a record from my, my aunt Kathleen. She uh, was a professor of English at Ferrum College. And down there they did this kind of like, um, it was a historical society or foundation something. And they were trying to not let, uh, let things go. They wanted to make sure that they were archived, well archived. So I got this Piedmont Blues record that they had put together. It was just local people down in uh, the Piedmont area, <laughs> you know, the rural Virginia playing these back porch blues songs. Uh, I still have it. I still spin it on my turntable today. It's a great album. Um, but that kind of started, started getting me into it. Um, and I, I really got into like Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Eric Clapton's unplugged album. I was like, Oh, that's awesome. You know, uh, cause I've always gravitated towards the acoustic. I play electric and I've been in bands, but my bands have always broken up. I've never broken up with myself. So I just kind of play acoustic a lot of the time. Um, and yeah, that's what got me into it. And I just keep going. I got into some of the old, like uh, Mississippi John Hurt, uh, uh, Pink Anderson, you know, uh, getting into some some of the older players uh, where a lot of their, it was like country blues is what it was known as, you know, uh, like Brownie McGee, really good. Um, and yeah, I just gravitated towards it. I love to play it and see what I can do with it. <laughs> I, I know there's different types of blues, like uh, uh, Chicago blues, jump blues, boogie woogie blues. What type of blues do you center on? Yeah, mine is really more centered in that uh, Piedmont style, really. Um, especially when I'm on the acoustic. So it's a little different flavor than a lot of people are used to hearing. Um, the Piedmont style tends to hit more of the majors instead of the minors. Uh, there, it's just, it's its own kind of thing within the blues, very similar to Delta, but without as much slide usually. Um, and so it's got some similarities to the Delta, but it's its own flavor. That's for sure. What city are you based out of? Right now, I live really close to Warren, Pennsylvania. I'm in a little town called Russell. 
Um, and so I'm still Western Pennsylvania, but I am North, <laughs> uh, in the Northwest. Uh, I was born and raised in Virginia beach, Virginia. And then I came to Pennsylvania, went to IUP, met my wife. Uh, and so we've been in Pennsylvania ever since, uh, around 98, I moved to Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania. And so just recently relocated to the Warren area. A lot of, a lot of my friends are more around the city, around Pittsburgh and, uh, Beaver Falls kind of area over there. You released Blues in My Pocket January 2023, and there's a song on there called Trouble. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about that song. Trouble. That's an interesting one. Uh, Yeah, Trouble is just one of those songs that people can relate to usually after they don't want to. Um, It's when you experience something. And you're just like, yeah, I'm going to call it as I see it. I need, I need to just, I need to leave you be. Uh, and so that song, that song's nestled out of a few old relationships back in my day and relationships that I've seen friends go through as well, uh, where it's just, just putting it straight out there. The girl was trouble. And so it's like, I, I know trouble when I see it <laughs> and babe, I'm leaving you behind. You know what I mean? I'm finally seeing you. And so that's the hook of the song. It's just about try, finally seeing someone for, for what they are. And that's no good. So it's one of those kind of blue songs. It's not a good song to relate to, but everyone probably can at some point or another. Now, was that song easy? Did it come easy or was it hard to put together like the guitar parts and the finger picking and stuff like that? The guitar part, actually, it, it came about over a couple of years. A lot of my songs, they just come out immediately. Um, but that one, it, like the, the main riff for that song, because it's got a lot of like uh, two stops and it's got a lot of like double stops and just like harmonies and stuff going on within the guitar part itself. And it's it probably nestled probably about three years or so just floating around. I would just play it. You know, I never put words to it. And then one day I just started singing over it, and then the song was born. So once I started singing over it, it came, it came together like that. Uh, and I put together the, the B section of the song and it, it all just, it all would just fit together. Um, but that was one that I had just had fun playing without any words for a good couple of years before I ever threw any lyrics to it. I know trouble when I see it. For me once or twice, but then you're through. I know trouble when I see it Even when the world ain't got a clue I know trouble when I see it And babe, I'm finally seeing you There's nothing you can say To help me ever unsee what I've seen There's nothing you can do To help erase the things I've seen in you It's true I see you, oh, trouble, I know trouble when I see it, my friends can say they think I lost my mind, I know trouble when I see it, I've seen trouble one too many times, yeah, I know trouble when I see it, babe, I'm leaving you behind. You had Billy the Kid guest on three of your songs. How, how did you go about getting him to play on that album? Yeah, uh, I reached out to him. I, I, I jammed at Fred's Divot with him one night a long time ago. And, um, you know, and I was I've always liked his stuff, his style. He's really good. The funny thing is, is when he came to play on that track, he came in with this really awesome, like, I think it was a, a brand new guitar that he had just got. He was all like vamped and ready to go and i said billy this is an acoustic album um, <laughs> and he's like i haven't played an acoustic in forever and and i said well there's, there's a martin d28 here if you want to rip out a lead on that and he's like if it's got strings i can play it and he did for someone who's very accustomed to electric guitar he just slammed out acoustic tracks like a pro uh, and so it was really good to have him come into the studio and to lay a couple tracks. Uh, those were recorded there in, in Pittsburgh um, at a little studio. It's called uh, Giffen, not to be mistaken for Geffen. Um, but uh, it's just a little, a little home studio, really nice equipment um, and really great old school analog, nice preamps, everything. So we captured the tracks there. And then I ended up mastering and mixing every, 
everything down. Um, I should say mixing and mastering to get the order correct. But I, I did that after we just captured the tracks there in Pittsburgh. And then I worked on it uh, at, at my house in my little home studio and just kind of did the finalizing of the mixing and mastering. But yeah, Billy, Billy can bring it. Uh, he's, he's really good. Really good. What do you have planned for the rest of this year? Uh, coming up, I, I mean, my, my next show right now, I have, I have July 7th at the Blue Goose coming up at eight o'clock. Um, other than that, I'm pretty wide open. I'm, I'm looking to get some, some gigs over the summer. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to get kind of a Kickstarter or, or GoFundMe, I guess would be what it would be, uh, to, to help get me to Memphis. I need to, I need to try and get, I mean, I got my ticket to Memphis, but now I got to go, I got to figure out how to pay for that trip, uh, so I can compete uh, in early 2024. Um, and so I, I did put together a new, uh, compilation blues album. So I have my new album that came out in January that came out, uh, on blue Monday of this year. They say the third Monday in January is the bluest day of the year. And so it came out on blue Monday, uh, which I think was January 16th, I think this year. Um, but I also recently put together a compilation of blues that spans like through the years. Like uh, there's some of my older stuff on there, just kind of some tracks that I like and I thought they were great and wanted other people to hear. So I remastered them for this uh, kind of compilation that I put together. It's called just send me to Memphis. You can get it on my Bandcamp page uh, at big Bay Allen blues.bandcamp.com. It'll take you right there. Um, that's really the best way to support me. Uh, going to Memphis is to to buy my albums. Streaming is great for for sharing with friends and popularity, getting your name out there. Um, but I, not just for me, but if you like any artist, I would recommend buying something of theirs <laughs> because that's how they get their money. Um, streaming doesn't do much for the artist these days, unfortunately. So I'm looking to to play. I'm I'm looking to get some gigs. If 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 anyone's listening and you have a venue that you're looking to have some uh, acoustic blues, uh, you know you can reach out to me, Bay Allen Music uh, at gmail dot com, and I would love to to come and play at your venue. How can we get a hold of you? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, on Facebook, uh, you can type in Bay Allen Music, and you'll find. Um, instead of like a page, I have a group. I think I did it wrong. Um, but you can also find me on the web at big, a big Bay Allen blues dot web com. I'm working on getting it a little more streamlined. Um, but that'll take you to my main website and then band camps a good way too. Um, th those are some of the best ways to really get a hold of me or, or drop me a direct line at Bay Allen music at gmail.com. Uh, that's all the questions I have. Thanks for coming on the show today. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, not really. I mean, there's a lot of great music in the Pittsburgh area. Go out and support local music. Um, and, and like I said, if you like the artists that you're listening to buy some of their merch, uh, like really support them because musicians have a hard road. <laughs> um, and a lot of people, uh, don't realize it. They they think, oh, they're making all this money. No, not really. And so, really, if you if you enjoy a musician, go support them. Uh, and I'm not saying that for, for you to support me per se, but whoever you like, love on them. Show show them some love um, because musicians are putting it out there, uh, putting their soul out there, telling their stories, uh, and allowing other people to kind of uh, just cut free for a few hours at a concert and not have to worry about life and what's going on. So try and support them if you can. And, uh, and if you can help send me to Memphis, please do. <laughs> so thank you. Nothing you can say to help me ever unsee what I've seen. There's nothing you can do to help erase the things that I've seen in you. It's true, I see you. Oh, trouble. I know trouble when I see it. Fool me once or twice, but then you're through. 
I know trouble when I see it Even when the world ain't got a clue I know trouble when I see it And babe, I'm finally seeing you